I feel like we need a new language. Um, I think our language of birth is very negative. We have a lot of words and one of the things we do in reframing orgasmic birth is to use that people find their language. How many of you, when I say the word contraction, think of pain? Fair number. It's, and if I ask a lot of people that are expecting, men and women, I often get that that's kind of synonymous for them. And I thought, well, why would we want to use a word that makes you think of pain? So one thing I didn't tell you or Janet was that we came in here and sprinkled something on the carpet today that might make all of you itch. So if I begin to tell you that over the next hour you might start to itch, but if you do, don't worry because I've got lots of drugs with me. I've brought all kinds of things. And if I kind of start going like this in time, I see a few of you moving a little bit. I could probably convince a few of you to get a little itchy in a little while. So if you've grown up with the language around birth that begins to have you think of birth as painful, it, you, it's really powerful. We know the mind-body. We know the placebo effect. I was lucky that I read Spiritual Midwifery. And what was in that book? Those of you that have read that, what did Anime call it? Rushes. rushes. And I like surges too, she's used at time. And that's like, I think of surge like a power surge, you know? <laughs> and isn't that great to feel our power surging? And I find people that like water, and of course, if you don't like water, this wouldn't be a good word, but wave, right? Because it's that sense that if this wave was coming behind me right now and I wanted to ride it, I would just let my body go, right? And the power of the wave would actually bring me to the shore. So it's really that surrender that we know is really important in labor, that release, that letting go, and let the power move you. On the other hand, I'll get right to you, if I turned and faced that wave, and I thought, I'm going to stand here no matter what, I'd probably get all tumbled, and I always joke, you get sand where you don't want sand, you kind of come up. But I think a lot of women today around the world are really fighting that wave. It's like, here comes another one, and they're really tense, and they're really making the experience so much more challenging. So I really, part of what we encourage is really, let's think of a language, and each one of you will have your own language. It's not to say that there's a word. It's what's the language that you want to develop about your body, about your baby, about your birth that helps you have confidence and really trust that this is an opening. It's not a getting smaller. It's an expansion. What are those words? Mm -hmm.